as long as she's comfortable enough to say, I'm going to cover the mortgage and all the other stuff. You've had a light bill, baby. You can take me to dinner every now and then. Mm -hmm. That is fine. Yeah. Yep. She makes most of the money. All I can pay is the light bill. That's fine. Mm -hmm. All I can pay is the light bill. That's fine. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you to react to things that black women are reacting to. So I don't know how, you, how well you think that's going to go over. I don't know. I guess it depends on what. What he did, what he said. Well, can you stop? You mess with my microphone. Sorry. Won't you rub your Try legs? Get the lint off of my pants. Who can see you lint on your pants? Me. Okay, well, stop looking down. But anyway, I know people are going to be upset with this already. Listen, I don't care. Listen, this is about black men anyway. So I'm going to see what you think about what Tyler Perry says about black men because, uh, as far as I can see, I'm still black. So. What? Yeah. Huh? But you just said it's about women and their reactions. It's to about, what? yeah, black women reacting to what Tyler Perry said about black men. Recap. A, a lot of women, especially black women, and mm -hmm. I might get in trouble for saying this, black women are making a lot more money for the most part than yeah. black men. If you can find love, if that man works, you know, at whatever job mm -hmm. and is a good man and is good to you mm -hmm. and, honors, and honors the house and honors his wife and does what he can, mm -hmm. Because his his gift may not be your gift. Exactly. That is okay. Mm -hmm. That's not somebody who's beneath you. Yeah. That's somebody who came to love you at your worth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? Yes. And as long as he's secure in himself to mm -hmm. know that, yep, she makes most of the money. All I can pay is the light bill. As long as she's comfortable enough to say, I'm going to cover the mortgage and all the other stuff. You can the light bill. Baby, you can take me to dinner every now and then. Mm -hmm. That is fine. Yeah. What's your feeling? The light bill? I mean, what's, what's okay? Up? My take on that is: is he working equally just as hard as her? But maybe he has a job. Maybe his passion is in a lower-paying job. If he's getting up every day and he's going to work and mm -hmm. he's working to the best of his potential or doing what he likes to do mm -hmm. full time mm -hmm. and still just making that much less, I think that that's okay. If he's <laughs> sitting home playing video games or he chooses to work part time. Mm -hmm. I might have a problem with that. <laughs> well, can I just pay the light bill for a while then? Since, since you're okay with it. I think you were for a little bit. I actually was. I actually <laughs> were only paying the light bill for it. I'm a bum. I'm sorry. Um, no, but I think it was the light and the water and the gas. That's all I was paying for a while. I'm just, I can't lie. That's all I was paying for a while. That's all I was making. <laughs> it's not because all you were making. It's a bit people maybe call that a freeloader. Oh, geez. You got me lightheaded in here. <laughs> Moral of the story is that yes, I once was just paying the light bill, evidently. Okay. So, so this this really touches close to home. This is really <laughs> this is really this is this is round circle. So, you even like me, even when I can only pay the light bill. But you were doing other stuff, like you the dishes, <laughs> maybe some laundry. <laughs> you washed the cars. I did. Sometimes. We're going out. <laughs> listen, I evidently would not. I, listen, I guess I would be single. I'm glad I found the white woman because, <laughs> because these black women would have put me, would have kicked me to the curb. So let's just see what they got to say. Here we go again. Here we go again. In May, Ayala was telling us to date a bus driver. Now in September, Tyler Perry is telling us to date someone with an EBT card and let him pay what he can as long as he loves you and he's good to you. My question is, it's a very simple question, complex answer, but a simple question. Why are black women the only group of women ever, ever told to partner with poverty? I don't know. I'll take offense to that because when I was only paying the light bill, I don't feel like I was a bum. I might have been. I might have been bum this worthy. This is not our only house, though. <laughs> Yeah, but still, like, You're I'm just only saying. the light bill here. <laughs> but, you know, but that actually makes a good point because there was no clarification there. Because if he's only paying the light bill, but he's only paying the light bill, but there's multiple houses that are being owned, that light bill could be over a thousand dollars. That light bill could be a couple thousand dollars. If you have an eight thousand, ten thousand square foot house, that light bill can honestly be well close to a thousand or over it could a thousand. Be a lot, yeah, especially it, right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean if you got, you know, two and three, you know, mm -hmm. AC units in your house and things like that, that light bill can be pretty expensive. So there was no specification in the amount of the light bill. And so I'm gonna have to say, I'm gonna have to give him a little leeway because listen, like I said, that once was me.
So I, I have I have a little skin in the game on this one. What I heard was black women should take care of black men and stop expecting black men to be able to take care of them, which makes perfect sense coming from you because you created Medea to sustain Tyler, did you not? I'd have made it better had you turned around and said black men, you need to learn how to submit to black women because I'm not going to be the provider and he gets to be the motherfucking lead. He's not leading me into debt. I make enough money for me. But now you telling me I got to feed two mouths. If I could afford it without you, I should be able to afford it two times over when I get with you. Stop right there because... She's starting to get loud. Yeah, and she's saying a lot. But I'm be honest with you. I would rather pay the rent or whatever she's at the mortgage there than probably pay her food bill. It just looks like just from the neck up. It just, just, <laughs> just looks like that bill might be a little cheaper. <laughs> I don't understand why it's touching people's nerves so much. Listen, there's some things that are for some people that are said online and there's some things that aren't for some people. And the things that really touches certain people's nerves may touch certain people's nerves just for a simple reason that, I don't know, it kind of hits close to home, I guess. You mm -hmm. know, because here's the thing, it, that doesn't bother me. I mean, I don't know, does it bother you? Mm -hmm. Doesn't bother me what he said. You know why it doesn't bother me? Cause I don't just pay light bill anymore, so it doesn't pertain to me. <laughs> now, if I was still just paying light bill, I might feel some type of way, but I don't just pay light bill anymore. Okay, maybe you wouldn't feel some type of way. No, I, I mean, actually wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah. I look right past it. I was like, you know what? Yeah, yeah. I need me one of them women that just let me pay the light bill. I take you out there once in a while. I think that the biggest problem Sizzlers. with that would scissors. Do we even have scissors anymore? <laughs> I think the biggest problem with that would be like respect. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been in relationships with men that make less money than me and they all fucking resented me. In the very beginning, they loved every bit of it. I spoiled them rotten. You know, I treated one ex on a vacation. Uh, we flew to Europe. He totally ruined the entire vacation. He was unappreciative. Um, you know, pampered, bought clothes, cologne, jewelry, spoiled the nigga, you know, cooked all that. Tons of sex, and he still cheated. The, the one thing that I actually have noticed sometimes is that the power dynamic usually kind of goes to the person that's making the most money in the household. Now, whether that be the man or that be the woman, that's actually not a good thing to throw back in somebody's face because let's just say that you do have a woman that is a stay-at-home mom or makes significantly less than the man. If he's always coming home and throwing his, you know, I make this and, you know, this and I, you know, I do this at the house and I pay for this, but mm -hmm. would that not make the woman feel a certain type of way? Yeah. Yeah. But when you reverse the roles, would that not make the man feel it some type of way if a woman, here's the thing, there are going to be some women that are going to make more money than their men. Let's just be honest with mm -hmm. you. And if you are, are actually throwing that type of status around nobody's going to be around you nobody's going to be happy for you. it's going to be hard it's going to be hard for somebody to have the self-esteem to actually want to do better for themselves if you're constantly putting them down and beating them down saying that hey you know this couch you said no you know i bought that clean mm -hmm. up that couch when you get up you know you know, you know what i'm saying it's like just little stuff like this like you always want to take digs in somebody's ego so there's black men and black women in my comment section are like going, why are you so mad about what Tyler Perry said? I wasn't that hungry, but I'm a big bitch, so I could eat again. Most of the women who are having problems with men like this is their own fault. Now, and the reason why I'll say it's their own fault is because of this. It's not just the money aspect. Is that it's a lot of times it's the attitude aspect of the females because it's hard for you. It's hard for a man who's actually worth something to be around a female who has an ego problem, has an attitude problem. Because I'm be honest with you, if I, when I was just paying the light bill, if you had an attitude problem, yeah, our lights might have been cut off a couple times. <laughs> Number one, Tyler just took us from going 50-50, which was already unacceptable, to 95-5, 98-2. So it's 50-50 unacceptable? Unacceptable? Yeah, she said 50-50 was unacceptable. She feels it is. I mean, I don't think so. I thought we were in bad B territory now. If you're a bad B, I think that 50-50 should be okay. I'm just, I'm just saying. It's like, you know, 60-40. 70 30 like if you really that bad it's like let's let's, let's do 80 20 you know i'm gonna make it make sense for you real quick if i'm making two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year and you're making fifty thousand dollars a year and something happens to me you cannot sustain our lifestyle so guess what like i was already doing when i was providing for both of us now i have to stress for both of us y'all are acting like tyler said oh the man makes 200k and the woman makes 250k we're not talking about a fifty thousand dollar difference all he can pay is the light bill so our mortgage is still going to be due our car payments are still going to be due the water bill is still 
still going to be due everything outside of the fucking light bill will still be due and how is that man supposed to provide for us he fucking can't now that is plain stupid here's the thing Here's another problem that I see with a lot of people. A lot of people live way above what they should be living. Most people spend way more than what they should on cars and housing and clothes and, and trips and all this stuff. And so if you're living at that level, then you're you're completely stupid. Listen, you wanna flex so everybody in the neighborhood knows you flexing. And you wanna flex so all your friends think that you got it like that. And if you really ever hit a couple speed bumps in the road, you, people will find out you really don't have it like that. And so why would you want to try to impress people that don't really have your best interests in hand? Because here's the thing, at the end of the day, if something happened to you, are those people gonna pay your bills? No. I'm not dealing with no man. I don't care how good of a man he is. And the only thing he can do is pay the light bill. Not gonna do it. What happened if you, you know, if the guy was working full time, but he got laid off or something, That's and he could saying. only pay the light yeah. bill for a while. So now you now you get rid of him, now you dump him, now you you know what I'm saying, now he now he ain't worth nothing. Right. He he's a good man and he was paying for stuff, but then he fell on hard times and all he could pay his well, life. Maybe bill he got hurt. He was a good time. I mean you just yeah, you don't know. Yeah. I feel like the problem is a lot of people put money above love, but then expect a loving relationship mm -hmm. and love to be kind of, you know, the glue that holds the marriage together. But that's not their top focus it's money so when you focus on money first above love if we are utilizing our gifts and doing all the stuff to be able to pay mortgages and all the other stuff what do we need y'all for what what do we need y'all for in the age of vibrators what do women need men for if y'all can only pay the light bill i was gonna say please don't ask me this question <laughs> ask you a question what she was just asking, what do we need, what do we need you for? What do we need men for? What, you don't have an answer for it or you don't, or you don't want I to mean, answer? I'm just really independent. I could, mm -hmm. I, could I live by myself and take care of all my stuff? Yeah, I could. Yeah. But I don't want to. I mean, <laughs> I, I think that men, for some women, men are there because you want them there because, I mean, need them? Yeah, I, I think it's unfair to say you don't need them because I think you do maybe not to pay bills maybe not for some other stuff but <laughs> at the end of the day I mean it's it's nice to have somebody there like your best friend in your house somebody <coughs> you can you know you come home to you talk to I feel sorry for the people who don't need that and let me be very clear I'm not against 50 50 because if 50 50 gonna put me in my dream house absolutely sign me up i sure will i sure will split them bills if it put me in my dream house and i only gotta go half on my dream house absolutely absolutely sure will and don't care what none of y'all broke girls got to say about it i'm gonna tell you what i, I think heard it makes it messy i'm gonna tell you what i heard when i first heard it this is this is what i heard it's like all right because they're missing there, there is a part that's missing that here is the you have a good man that's good to you, yeah, 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 but you only can pay the light bill. All right, so reverse that around. You have a bad man that cheats on you all the time, but he pays everything. And I love a good man who, you know, stand by your side and supportive and all of that good stuff. Absolutely, that's what I want. But that needs to come packaged with a man who can at least pay 50 of the bills. Like, <laughs> It's not coming with somebody who paying the light bill. It's not going to happen. Listen, it's going to be the same thing over and over again. Most people, listen, not most people. I'll say a lot of the women that are in these, a lot of women that are responding for this are honestly thinking about only money. And the thing is that money is important to live. We're not saying that it's not important to live. But when you're kind of thinking about money, you know, like that. Listen, fifty thousand. Like, the lady just said, two hundred fifty versus your fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars is is honestly, what is it like the median family income for most people in the United States? So mm -hmm. you're saying that a man making fifty thousand dollars is not good enough for you? Listen, I, I don't, at that point in time, I don't know what to say. I can see why a lot of the women are single. I do see a lot of women walk around single. Uh, actually, I see a lot of women of many races walk around singing because this is not just a black thing this is actually something that goes across multiple cultures this is listen 
uh, within the white community. I see some of these things within the white community too. And so this is not just a black thing. This is a female thing. And I think it's because of this new digital age, like I said, with all this, you know, Instagram, Facebook, and everybody trying to floss and everybody trying to keep up with, listen, you're not just trying to keep up with the Joneses now. You're not just trying to keep up with your next door neighbors. You're trying to keep up with people in other states because you see what your friends from high school and stuff are doing, you know, mm -hmm. and then you sometimes you're trying to keep up with people in other countries, people that you don't even know you're trying to keep up with. And I think that's just setting a bad precedent. It's just for relationships overall. If you have to, you know, go 50-50 to get a dream house. Is a dream house more important than a dream relationship? And if that is for you, some people, hey, that is, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say if if you're putting more stock in a dream house and somebody that can make enough money to help you go 50-50 on your dream house, Listen, I, I would say that you you're going to be struggling in other parts of your life that are that are more meaningful. Yeah. But I don't know. You lose your house just yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what if you lose your house? Then the person that you were going fifty fifty with, what are they, what are they worth for you? At that point in time, they ain't worth nothing to you because you don't have that dream house anymore. Right.